Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, what's up? It's your boy MB. I want to do a little explanation, and maybe you can use this in your system as well. When you have a head unit, most good head units will have a setting where you can control different features of your signal but one of the most important things about your signal is here like on that single high 10 this is called the sub level a lot of you have the sub level and do not know how to fully use this the sub level is controlling your rca output voltage so for instance on this head unit my output voltage is two volts a little less than that actually in actuality because there's plenty of videos on the YouTube showing that this is not a full two volt two volts. It's like 1.7, 1 1.8, something like that. But this sub level is what controls the output voltage that is sent from here to back to the amplifier. Okay? Now if I set it at 15, I'm telling the head unit to send the full voltage of the RCA back to the amplifier. If I set it here, roughly seven or eight, that's half the voltage. So whatever your voltage is on your head unit, whether it's two volt, four volt, and then some out there were even six volt, six volt. Wherever you set your amp, wherever you set your amp is gonna be dependent on how much of this voltage that you use. Now, I use a distortion detector from Steve Mead. And what that does is enable me, enable me to find out where does my head unit clip. The Stinger High 10 does not clip all the way up. I'm talking about you can take this all the way to 40. At 40, with the sub-level all the way out, which is the RCA output voltage, the head unit does not clip. However, I not really for sure i'm not i don't i'm not that trusting so i always set my amplifier at 30 i mean set my head unit 38 my rc voltage is full full the full two volt signal is going out to the amplifier that is checked and confirmed with my distortion detector so i check to see where i was clipping it and then i take these rca rca from distortion detector and hook it to my amplifier and then i set my gain that way I pair that with the remote with, with the DD remote, which has a clipping indicator. With this having with this DD1, I'm able to get a very clean signal and make sure my amplifier does not go into clipping. Now, if I want to minimize whatever that power is that's been amplified from the head unit, I can control that here. As well as control it from my remote base knob. Now which is really a remote gain knob. Wherever I have the gain cell and amplifier, using all these settings. So when I set my amplifier, I had the sub proof of the RCA pre-out max, had the equalizer on flat. So when I turn the volume to 40, and my knob, my remote base knob, is turned all the way over, the RCA voltage is up, then I use the distortion detector to set my gain on my amplifier to make sure I'm not clipping. At that point, any volume level that I have underneath that, any volume level I use, whether I use 20, 23, 24, you may see it on peaks. It may clip, slight peaks, but everyone, that's dynamic burst in the music. But I'm getting right at rated power to the subs. Are we understand? You need to have your RCA voltage all the way up. Now, if you do not want to use your RCA voltage all the way up because your head unit clips, I could have set the amp here. Could have set the amp here. It's going to be very hard to do because then the DD1 tells me they can't even detect the signal because there is no voltage to the RCAs for the amplifier to, for the amplifier to amplify. So I have to set it all the way up because this is control of the voltage. I hope that so people can understand that. Stop asking that 
that question, if you turn the episode on, will you lose voltage or gain voltage? You use a DD1 to set the amplifier. You never have to set it again. I can control how much power roughly I give any sub by controlling my RCA voltage using my sub level. That's what this is. This is the control of your RCA voltage on whatever unit. Here you have sub level control, subwoofer control. That's the control of your RCA voltage, whatever it is, whether it's two volts, four volts, six volts. With that sub level control, you can you can you can attenuate or give the full voltage out that your amplifier is going to amplify. Based on what you do here, you can control how much power is actually going to make it to your subs. My system is set with this. My system is set with the SMD device and using the full voltage of my of my amp so that I make sure that I'm not clipping any of my uh so it was that I put inside. And I have I do not I don't believe in reconing. I believe in sending clean power. So when I was testing the J audios, I had to bring the power down. I had to bring the power down. So now the amplifier is gonna amplify roughly whatever I'm doing here in the full voltage whatever voltage I do at the uh, at the, at the, at the, at the uh, remote gain, and I can attenuate how much power roughly, roughly is going to the subs. So here I use a third. It's, it was a 1.5 ohm load, a one ohm load, a two ohm load, whatever it is, I control how much power, how much the amplifier is gonna amplify the signal right here at the sub level control. But it needs to be set on any here unit max. On any hit unit, you got to set it to the max. Then you get your the distortion detector to make sure that you're not. Where are you clipping it? These two go hand in hand for the correct use of your system. I hope this video explains my system and maybe it helps you be able to get the full out of your own system by understanding what a sub-level control does. It is a control of your RCA output voltage. When you set the amplifier, you need to have it set max. You control roughly how much power you give by decreasing or increasing the RCA voltage. You do not want to set your amplifier here, which you probably won't be able to do with the distortion detector anyway, because you won't be able to read the signal. And then after you get it here, you say, well, I'm gonna give it a little boost. Now you're gonna turn this into a distortion meter. Because if you have it set here, not the clip, Anything you do other than zero is going to clip. Hope this helped you all guys out. As always, you're going to have your naysayers in the comments. Uh, but if you do your own research, you will find out, yeah, what NBA tells you is, is, is exactly correct. That's how you set a Sting I-10 or any head unit. That's what the sub-level controls. It controls the output voltage. Peace.